the terrestrial occurrence of programmers laughing at performers. Time out, performers. Lose all precedent. The temporary organisation for the proliferation of live audio programming. Typing. Old programmes leaves art paralysed. TAPLAP doesn't stand for anything. It's not actually an acronym. The idea that it stands for something is just sort of a myth that's followed the group around since its inception. But no, TAPLAP doesn't stand for anything. I'm making live music performance using computers more interesting by exposing its inner workings and creating as much of it in front of the audience as I can. Together with this group of fellow artists, musicians and programmers, we're exploring the idea of making music live by writing software as part of the performance. most interested, I think, where it engages one of the real foundations of computer music, algorithms. They can themselves become artistic material, and their live manipulation demonstrates a new skill for the computer music performer. Live coding shows the subjectivity behind algorithms, uh, behind programming. It shows that it's human and musical and kinetic and uh, all of these things that we don't usually think about. We go to venues and write software, modify existing software, and execute software as part of the performance. We show our screens to the audience and make sure that people can see what we're doing. And we make sure that they can hear and that they'll dance along with our music. I just started a series of text pieces where the performers get a chance to rewrite the instruction sets they follow during the performance. Uh, these may become implemented as, as networked computer programs, perhaps. Uh, for live performance, uh, I did achieve two of my live coding ambitions in the last year, uh, writing a new DSP routine in C in front of an audience um, and then using it. Um, also, uh, programming a sonified game of snakes and ladders and manipulating that game during or all during the gig, as an example of programming something that was contextually relevant, uh, that meant something to the audience, that meant something to the festival. with coding shows it's not uh, mechanical, which is important both to performance and on a larger scale of showing people that, you know, algorithms and culture are biased because if they're subjective in entertainment and music and so on, they're also subjective in politics and your credit rating. Um, so I think it's uh, sort of a step towards a global algorithmic literacy or the algorithm is the message. The exciting thing is we're not very sure if we're any good at it at all, or if it will lead us anywhere musically great, but at least we have our own strange take on computer audio, 
that can act as a thought experiment, as a performance, counterculture, and subversive agent against a somewhat inferiority complex driven, that is inferior to the human musician, uh, computer music mainstream.